What it do, what it do, fam. This is your boy, D-Rose, uh, of the Supremely Black Podcast, just tapping in with you all. Uh, make sure that you hit the like button uh, upon the entry. Make sure you comment and share. And if you're really rocking with the content, make sure you subscribe. So I had a, a few people, a couple of my homies actually hit me up in regards to the Boost interview uh, on The Breakfast Club. So that's what we'll be diving into today. Uh, first and foremost, I think it was a very dope interview. Um, I do... I did find an actual different perspective on actually looking at Boost's mindset. I know that he has a traditional way of thinking and speaking his mind, which is kind of rare these days for people just to keep it that real. And I think he made a lot of key points within the interview about, you know, speaking his mind and not actually being against any particular community, uh, but also just saying, hey, uh, there's going to be people that feel one particular way. There's also going to be people that feel another way. And that's really all right. It's all it's cool to be, you know, uh, you feel me to agree to disagree. And I think that's a lot of times where people have um, have lost that within this world. Everybody is not going to be in agreement with you. Everybody's not going to like you. You're not going to always be for everybody. And I think once you can really grasp that within um, your life, it makes your life a whole lot easier. But just to kind of get into the interview, um, I think it was a very interesting perspective uh, with the questions. It was a lot of times of um, Charlemagne may have asked Angela Yee and even Envy of was him being very direct or in, offensive as they use the words uh, towards Lil Nas X uh, was he being a hypocrite because rap music talks about drug use, the misuse of women, uh, gang violence, shooting, killing, et cetera. Uh, so for me, in that particular instance, I thought that was a very different take on people with that. The only thing that I would question, uh, because I definitely want you all to comment and share, uh, comment below to see exactly what's your thoughts on it. I, will, I wonder why, um, especially with them having the Breakfast Club as a platform, they always bring uh, entertainers up that have things that are detrimental uh, towards the kids. So why would he speaks about or speaks out about Lil Nas X and how he went about doing certain things? Why are you going at him for speaking out about that? Now, if you didn't agree with how he did it, I think that could have been handled privately. But in that particular segment of talking about the hypocrite, uh, were they right? Absolutely. There's a lot of things that are pushed upon it. But I also agree with him in regards to we don't have to push it on kids. And he also owned his truth by saying that he knows for a fact that his music was detrimental to the kids and harmed the kids because when he actually got out of prison, he realized that everybody that really listened to his music was either dead or in jail. And that was a reality set for him. So that doesn't mean that he doesn't have the time to actually evolve himself. So I think that he did a damn good job with actually speaking towards that and he kept it real. And I mean, that's what you expect from Boosie. So you have to grow to really love that part of it, right? Uh, another key thing that um, he had mentioned uh, was a lot of the times when you get in the seat and a lot of people are paying you, you feel as if that there may be things within yourself or how you truthfully feel like your core values that a paycheck is going to actually make you look at things completely different so in a way you're censored or not truthfully being yourself because you're depending on someone else paying you and i think that's very key is because we do live in a times where things can be censored and everybody's very opinionated and can be easily offended uh but having that ownership within yourself i think that was a very dope perspective uh from a boost standpoint and i do agree with Envy said that he had backed him on uh, another occasion of getting his Instagram back because he does have a connected following and he doesn't necessarily disagree completely. He just may not agree with Boosie Stan. So I, I do agree with that. Now, in regards to being right or wrong um, and speaking about, you know, the community or Boosie's thoughts. Now, my overall thoughts of it is, is that people are entitled to their opinions. And it's really just that simple. Uh, you may not always agree, you may disagree, uh, but I think it just comes down to respect of another person's opinion just because someone is not in agreement with you doesn't mean they hate you or hate uh, who you are. It's just that they don't agree and they have the ultimate right to that. Uh, but what a lot of people were hitting me up and I thought this was uh, uh, kind of 
I think it was, I think it was a dope perspective of how people were viewing it. Did by the question, a lot of people were giving Charlemagne uh, flag for that. Like, what was he really on? Bro was kind of making it feel like an intervention. He kept pushing a certain side. It felt like he was pushing agenda. And so I think that's where the real conversation comes in. That is that. You know, I think everybody's entitled to their opinion. People are going to always disagree. There are certain people that are going to live a lifestyle. It's not really upon us to judge anyone. You feel however you feel, but I just think that we need to get into a space where it's respected and understand that everybody's just not going to be in agreement. But towards the agenda part of it, that's definitely where I want people to chime in and think about it is when you review, uh, look at this video, I definitely want everybody to look at the video and come back and comment and share your thoughts with, with us at, here at the Supreme Black, because we really want to know, of um, is this something that people feel as if that they aren't able to speak on truthfully without being bashed? And it goes from both sides. So it's the, you know, the LBGTQ plus community, they have the right and people that are against it or straight, do they have the right? Do you feel that it's equal? I think this is a great conversation to start. I think it's something that needs to be had because communication is always going to be able to have that or bridge the gap, but also are we going to be, uh, is it going to be, are we going to be mature enough to be able to understand that there's always going to be two sides to the fence? That doesn't mean that there has to be hate, but we just have to have a listening ear, listen to understand and not listen to respond. Uh, so definitely when you guys go and check out that video, come back, uh, tap in with us, uh, leave some comments, let us know. We may actually end up covering this topic even more and bring people on from, you know, different walks of life to kind of speak on it. Uh, but I think it's important uh, because, again, I do side with Boosie heavily is that when it comes to a point where uh, a child isn't of age, of exposure, and it feels as if that it's being pushed and him being a parent, I definitely think that every parent, every leader it should have this take in regards to, I get that that's a lifestyle. However, when is it too early to be exposing our kids to things? And I also want to salute uh, them for question, some of the questions that they did present because they are valid questions from both sides. And I also want to give a salute to Boosie for actually acknowledging some of the things that he felt as if that could have been detrimental uh, to our, our own hoods ourselves. So I think it's a dope topic. Uh, I definitely appreciate my homeboys and the fans reaching out to saying or asking like, hey, what's my take on it? Uh, I, you know, I definitely want you all to go and check that out and definitely get into the comments and let me know what's your thoughts on it, uh, because I think it's very thought provoking. So uh, thank you all again for uh, tapping in, like, share, comment. If you're really rocking with the content, subscribe, uh, let your family know. Uh, to the queens out there, salute. To the kings out there, salute. Love. I'm out.